I think we're about to get it, actually. I think healthcare happiness might take it here. 79 of 80. Here we go. Are we going to get the big bucks, or is something going to go terribly, terribly, terribly wrong? My bet is probably on terribly, terribly, terribly wrong, actually. I, I wouldn't be fucking surprised. Sudden revolt. Capital building destroyed. Your entire kingdom crumbles into the sand pits below. Game over. Literally, last second of the mission. It's gonna happen. Just watch. It's gonna fucking happen. Alright. Reveal Pinotimo. Truly, yes! Did it again. Send it to the Swiss bank account. We have done it. It's not over after all. My old enemies were just puppets. Oh my god! All of us to become president. Nick Richards. You I might even admire the work of the former vice president. Unfortunately for Mr. Richards, he chose to become my enemy. You fucking bastard. Neither his assassins oh, nor his... Oh, I've said it from the start. Help him <laughs> we were going to be taking America on at some point, and now I think we're actually literally going to be taking them on because the President of the United States is the one that betrayed us. Great! Good to know. We're fucked. Oh, well. Let's continue on to the next missions. Let's see how we can deal with this. 18 of 20. We're so close. President will not be easy. I need to find hard evidence of his involvement in the death of his predecessor. Of course, the Russians, the Russians won't hand it over, since one of the Russians wanted to devalue the U.S. position in the world. The military stalemate between the U.S. and the USSR has brought about a new kind of warfare, a clandestine war, waged by spies, not bound by borders. Okay, so we're going to be involved in spy warfare. Now, this sounds interesting. The spies controls the future. The Soviets want my help in eliminating the top U.S. spies. I will create a luxury resort to lure the American spies and then eliminate. Sounds like we're gonna. Sounds like we're doing a tourist mission here. All right, and as is usual, we will be playing as the one and only Macho Man Gordan himself as we set up a tourist hellhole. Oh, great! Uh, everything is proceeding almost as planned, President Day. The Russians will help us discredit that lowlife Nick Richards, and they demand almost nothing in return. Their small request is that we capture some spies for them. How hard could that be? We use this island as our base of operations and mask it as a tourist resort for the needlessly wealthy. There should be no problem for a person of your skills, especially considering that we've done this, like, how many times in the past? In fact, I think this is an actual island we did it on in the past, so it should be especially easy. I don't want to set up my tourist resort over here, though I'm sure this is probably the best land value. It just does It just... I don't know. Something about this area... Doesn't seem like you're gonna. Something might go wrong. Maybe avoid that if I can. Then again, the areas down here don't seem very nice either. Oh, shit. We're kind of stuck in a bad way here, aren't we? Our only option, really, if we're perfectly honest with you, is to establish our tourist sites here. And this, uh, this, this won't end well. I can see things going wrong already. I'm just saying, definitely not down here. I don't think this would be appealing to... I mean, I mean, it looks appealing, don't get me wrong, but, you know, I get the feeling that they won't like it for some reason. Something is just telling me that um, this is not a good tourist area. This over here, however, is a good-looking area and could be good for tourism. But I don't want to settle near the volcano! Oh, our choices, the choices, the fucking choices. We don't have a lot of choice, do we? We really don't have a lot of choice. I mean, we could try to settle around this region that might be out of reach of the volcano, and it's certainly nice. So we're going to try that. We're going to try to see how that works. So if we set the tourist dock here, you know, right by this waterfall over there, so they can see that when they're coming in. We can then build a road, and we can actually... We don't actually even have to... Con actually, we probably should connect this area by road somehow. Because one of the problems we're going to face, if we do it this way, 
is that peop the people over here need to get to work over there, so we need to build a long-ass road across the continent. Apparently this doesn't cost any money whatsoever. I doubt that. It's gonna. It's probably going to start costing a lot. And we're, we'll start setting up a tourist area down here. Get this up. High priority construction. Let me guess. As soon as I go fast speed, that's when it's going to start, right? Okay, we need to get that tourist area up. Since we're going for a tourist thing, I don't really need to, I guess, bring in any real big bucks right now immediately. I'll give it a look, though, because tourists might not be enough to support us forever. So maybe maybe we can tap um, the iron and then just sell that for a little bit as a small export. At least until we can get our real economy established with the um, tourists. We'll have that go. It's probably a really bad idea. I don't fucking care. That'll at least give us some money. We, we might put a small little, you know, industrial side over here, potentially, just to create some big bucks coming out while we're still setting up the tourist area. Because let's be honest, tourism is very fucking expensive. Like, it's obsessively expensive, actually. It's insanely expensive. It really shouldn't be that expensive, but it really is. Yeah, this isn't the best spot for tourism. Apparently, these mountains are the best spots in the game. I don't know why, but, you know, that's that's a thing. This area, which I thought was good, apparently really isn't. This particular area over here kind of is. We'll set it up over here. We'll set up a small a motel just right in the corner. It'll be beautiful. I mean, this area looks nice to me. I don't know what these people are fucking complaining about. It looks fucking great. These guys just have problems, man. These fucking tourists. They're so, so demanding. Too demanding, actually. Why don't you try President Day cereal? Yes, yeah, so let's get to this up so we can at least get some tourist scum down here. Now, the first batch is always the bad batch. We're not going to be bringing in too many bucks from the first batch, and they're not going to have a lot of fun things to go to either, come to think of it, because, unfortunately, the game does not let us set up, you know, anything, really. It doesn't let us set up what we need. How does the tourist stock have no workers? What are you asshats doing over here? You should be working in my touristy place, you douchebags. Well, at least this gives me some time to set up um, stuff for them. But still, you should be working there by default. Uh, look, I'm even building you some houses. I've only got $9,000 left. I've, I've already forgotten how to ration out my money. So, you better give me something, you douchebags. Jesus. Can't even... Look, I have a hotel right here. It's right here. Oh, it's not finished. It looks finished. This is finished enough. Come on. Come on, game. That's finished enough. You know it is. Oh, my God. We're about to go into debt again, aren't we? Oh, fuck me. We're going to be screwed. We're going to be so screwed. The early game is fairly difficult. That is something I actually kind of forget. And I might have spent way too much money on things that aren't going to return money anytime soon, which is not good. Uh, construction workers, do you mind getting your ass to work over there? What the fuck are you guys doing? You got cars! You drive a car over here! This shouldn't be a damn fucking problem! Jesus Christ, these fucking assholes, man. Apparently, they're not, they're not the ones driving the car. They pick up a car and then it drives off, because that makes sense, right? Alright, so the first thing we need to do, and these are fairly expensive, is get a cocktail bar. Because, as usual, we want to make these people as drunk as physically possible. Otherwise, let's be honest, they're not going to enjoy themselves. Because this island is complete and total shit. We also want to sell them souvenirs while they're drunk. Because that's what you do to drunk people. And we should probably, and I think the reason they're not going back by car is because we don't have a garage, so we should probably set one up probably in the shit area of town up this up here up the road. There we go. We're now very low on money again. Great. Well, we're beginning tourists soon. They won't have any place to go when they get here, but you know, they'll be... Eventually, they, they might show up and we'll get money. And... Oh, no, here they come. Shit, okay, I'm gonna... How much does this cost? 3,000? Fuck, I, I actually might have to quick build it. Because the to these guys, they aren't... Quickly, get over there! The tourists are arriving! You have to... No! 
Wrong billet. Fine. Fine. Screw you. 